Today, we're going to be taking a look at an airsoft AEG that's named after an animal that would give Chuck Norris a run for his money. This is Terminus Tactical, and this is the AM-013 from Ares Amoeba, otherwise known as the Honey Badger. Hi and welcome to Terminus Tactical. Today we're taking a look at the Ares Amoeba AM013, which is their version of the Honey Badger. Now there are many variations of Airsoft Honey Badgers available out there on the market, and there have been for quite a while. Its popularity in the Airsoft world though seems to have grown since it was featured in Call of Duty. The actual rifle I'm holding here in my hands is actually one from my own personal Airsoft collection. I've had it now for around five years, so just like Katie Price, it's been well worn in and used, and comes with all the battle scars included. So when we come to doing the close-ups, you will see various scuffs and scratches all over the rifle, particularly on the CNC aluminium handguard. So because this is my own rifle, I've stripped it down to the bare minimum, so you can see exactly how it comes out of the box when you purchase the AEG. So out of the box, she comes with a collapsible sprung-loaded stock right here, which only has two positions. She comes complete with these absolutely awful solid molded plasticky fake iron sights, and actually quite pleasingly, these two hand stops at the front here. At first, it appears to have what seems to be a working charging handle. However, like most AEGs, it just gives you access to the hot wheel via the ejection port dust cover. It has nice stippling on this beautifully molded pistol grip and on the included magazine. I found that the magazine, while well, it's extremely large, has this beautiful edge to it just here and guides the magazine in just perfectly. For me, one of my favorite parts of this rifle is the magazine release button right here. It's huge, it's chunky, and you simply can't miss it when you're fumbling around in the middle of an airsoft game. So the Ares Amoeba Honey Badger comes with plenty of options for mounting your accessories. Above your charging handle here, she has this rail for your chosen optics. And dotted all over your handguard, she has these accessory rail mounting holes. This is so you can screw on any of these extra mounts which are included out of the box. As well as move around your hand stops to your chosen desired position on the front of your rifle. So let's talk about some of her internals. She has an EFCX metal gearbox, she's LiPo battery ready, and she comes with a programmable trigger. However, programming the trigger does come at an extra cost because you will need to buy in one of these. So let's take a look at the markings on the Ares Amoeba Honey Badger. On the right side, just by the selector switch, you have the model number. As you can see here, although it doesn't come with an ambidextrous selector switch, it does have the correct markings on the right hand side for full, semi-automatic, and safe. So moving round to the left side, you have the Ares Amoeba branding here. Right below that, you have 5.56 NATO. Yes, and believe it or not, that's pretty much it. She's quite a bland rifle when it comes to trades and markings. So the Ares Amoeba Honey Badger has always had a place in my heart. She was one of the first AEGs that I purchased, and I held on to her as a backup, even when I started making my move over to gas and HPA. So in the airsoft world, these cheap AEGs are what a rampant rabbit is to your missus. When everything else goes down and stops working around you, just like the rabbit, the badger's always ready to go. Sadly for me now, the Ares Amoeba AM013 Honey Badger will always be a backup rifle, which will hardly see the light of day. Oh. However, for all you guys that are new to the airsoft world, I recommend the Ares Amoeba AM013 and in fact the whole Ares Amoeba range as a starter rifle. So now let's get it dialed in with these absolutely awful iron plastic toy sights which come included with her out of the box and let's see how she performs out on the mini range. So now we're out of the mini range, first of all we'll give her a chrono, then we'll fire 10 shots into this small target on my right hand side and then we'll mag dump the rest right here into Chuck Norris.
So as you probably would have noticed, the chrono part of this video was shockingly quick and I didn't spend much time out on the range. This is just purely because it's absolutely ghastly outside. It's been chucking it down all day and I cannot have my equipment out there in the rain. However, I just wanted to get this video finished and tied up so I can move on with the next one. Before I go, I would just like to thank you all for your support. This is only my fourth video and I already have over 600 subscribers. For me, that's a massive target reached. However, I now need to reach that big goal of 1,000 subscribers to make this all worth it. So yes, I'm going to say it and as shockingly crap as it always sounds, please can you like, subscribe and definitely share my content and I can continue to make really cool videos like this to stop you from having to watch the rest of the crap out there on YouTube. See you in the next episode of Terminus Tactical.